Assalamu alaikum, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And I even see, oops, uh, I see some dogs and some cats. No, I'm kidding. I don't see any dogs and cats. And the reason why I don't is because today's program is only on, uh, on YouTube. There's no program on Zoom. Uh, it is it is only on uh, it is only on YouTube, uh, and you might also notice that I'm in a little bit of a different place. I am at home, and the reason why I'm at home is because we had a blizzard. Go through. Did we have a blizzard? A blizzard means there was a ton of snow that fell. So it it was even hailing. Yeah, it was. It's like hailing means like little pieces of um ice. It's falling from the sky. That's right. So those little piece of ice is falling from the sky. So we're staying at home today. Um, now tonight is the uh, sure. tonight's a game show night, and so we're giving away over a million dollars of prizes. No, I'm kidding. Not a million, not a million dollars of prizes. No, a million dollars is too much. We're not giving away a million dollars in prizes. We're giving out prizes though. It's going to be awesome. All right, so. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to share my screen. Uh, so that way you guys are able to join the Kahoot. Let me get the Kahoot started. And then I can share my screen and then you guys can inshallah join. All right. So let me do this. We might have some other special guests coming, including my son, Gossam. All right. Um, you're going to have to give me a minute, Sana, while I get this situated. Um, it's a family affair tonight from the Osser household. All right. Uh, so let me go ahead and share my screen and inshallah, you can all join. All right. All right. Very good. Hopefully you can see this. Um, there is the pin nine, seven, four, six, eight. The website is kahoot.it. Um, it's going to be a really good time. Cindy, can you get my phone real quick? Um, Perfect. We have Aisha and Fatima and Anis and a bunch of people joining. So it means that it's working. I'm going to just check my phone to make sure it's working. The thing is, normally we're in the studio. Normally we're in the tree house. Today I'm at home. Yeah. Because of the blizzard. Because of the blizzard. Okay, so now, uh, Kothur Noor, um, thank you for joining today. Uh, Gossam, thank you for joining today. I really appreciate you. Um, Kothar, what has been your favorite part about the Ramadan camp so far? Um, I think, like, the part, like, um, where, like, where, like, you show that, like, pretend, like, library, and then, like, you're walking there. The transitions? Yeah, because I think that's the funniest part. <laughs> so that part is the funniest part, like. The part where your daddy's telling a story or reading a book, you're like, eh. <laughs> like, like walking to the library and they still like the like the different library like, like everything is pretend. Everything is pretend. Okay. All right, very good. So both are Noor. They care. Is there one Noor kid story that you have enjoyed the most so far? Um, the part where Amin eats too much chocolate and then um, in his dream, everything he touches turns into chocolate. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the chocolate touch. But we haven't read that story this Ramadan. We've been reading other stories so far. Inshallah, today we'll be talking about some of them. Okay, so now here's the thing, you guys. Who only lets us have about a thousand people? After that, Kahoot goes kapui. Uh, and we're at about 1,100 people. I'm going to keep this on and open for another two minutes or so. Uh, and then at that point in time, we're going to lock this. Now, sometimes people get a little bit frustrated because they try to join the Zoom. And then we lock the Zoom. But we have to lock the Zoom to make sure that hackers don't come in. Because the hackers come and they hack it all up. <laughs> they don't actually hack it up. No, it's just it's different. Okay. Um, so... Um, a lot of times people ask about the treehouse. Like, I mean, is it a real treehouse? Go there, you've been there. It is a real treehouse, isn't it? Like, um, you know, um, you remember that one time where, like, one of the questions were, like, if we take, like, a tour around the treehouse? Yeah. Yeah. And one, one person asked, 
like, is it a real chicken? And and it is, right? Yeah. Now, is there is there a um is there like a uncle of yours, like someone who daddy works with who lives in the treehouse? Yes. Who is that? Um <laughs> Yeah. Now it's kind of sad that he lives in the treehouse, but at least he has somewhere to live, right? And he's the no, and he's the no. Cosm thought that was funny too. <laughs> this is great. This is great. All right, you guys, I'm gonna give it about 60 more seconds after which we are gonna close down the Kahoot and then we are gonna inshallah get started. Now, Gother Noor, do you know what the gifts and prizes are for today? No. You don't know what the gifts and prizes are for today? Would you like me to tell you? No, I think it's a surprise for everybody. You, you don't think we should tell anyone what the gifts are? I mean, I think we kind of know what it is. What do you think it might be? I think it might be the backpack, the big backpack, the um, the puzzle, and the baby backpack. Ah, baby, you got it. You got it. Good job. Much a lot. Like, I don't even need to do my job. You know what? I think I'm going to take the night off. Go through. You do it. What do you think? <laughs> no. okay all right so all right so the 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 number one yeah so the number one gift that we're going to have today is uh a newer kid's backpack with 25 books in it Coulter, do you have yours laying around somewhere yeah there's like the baby one we have the baby one all right this is the, the it's not it, it is a baby backpack this, this is Cosmo's backpack right it's a nice backpack and we're going to be giving away your backpack. <laughs> He's like, hold on, wait a minute. All right. That is, uh, that is, uh, that is third place. Second place is getting the Newark Kids puzzle. It's the Muslims inventing our world puzzle. And first place is the, um, the big backpack with 25 books in it. And by the way, all of those are available at NewarkKids.com. You can, you can buy them. And not only can you buy them, uh, but also um, what you could do potentially is uh, you could donate to our Nora Kids camp and get them. All right, I'm gonna just do about 30 more seconds. We're gonna close this down and then inshallah, we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so Sunny, um, oh, sorry, Kothar Noor. Um, I noticed that you are, um, you are learning how to read. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. And, and what are some of your favorite books you like to read? Um, like, mostly baby books, because, like, they just words, you know? Um, like, practice, like, if I forget, like, like, what, like, what word they say, I could just try to read them myself. Mm, or, okay. like, or, like, Words, you know. So, so I was hoping you were gonna say the newer kids' book, um, but those books are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, what do you like about the newer kids' books, both through Nor? Am I forcing you to say that you like the newer kids' books, or do you actually? Like, I really like them, but like, I like, like, I like stories, like, like, not just like. Words. It's, I just like stories, like something really happens, like. It's exciting, like when something like dramatic happens. Like, like, um, like when somebody does something in the story. Like, mm. Or like, I just like books, you know? Yeah, you do like books, alhamdulillah. Actually, you know what? The way I've always talked about it is books are like food for your mind. And the Can more, because you learn because you learn. All right, we're going to give it one more minute at eight. Okay, it is 840. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to, we're going to lock it up. Some people might be a little bit sad. Some people might be mad. Other people might be glad, but uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to get started. Okay. All right. So this is week number two, not just for the, they joined the North Kids Ring of Honor, which is a big deal. The, the Norgans Ring of Honor is a big deal. Okay, question number one. Kothar, don't answer this. When, uh, what can get dirty when we do things like bully, say bad words, cheat, or steal? Is it A, our soul, B, our honor, 
C, our self-esteem, or D, our social status? Okay, don't say the answer. Go through nor do not say the answer. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Take that. Oops. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our comments because some people have asked questions. I'm going to go into here and we're going to look at some of the questions that people have asked and I'm going to answer them. Okay. Because we had a post where people could ask me anything. And I'm thinking today, um, let's actually pull this up and see what this is because we have about a minute. Okay. Um, and go through, maybe you can help. Um, this is Mumu. Wanted to ask you, what is your number one favorite place to travel or where you want to go? Uh, he said that he wants to go for Umrah. So you can make us a uh, dua for us to go to Umrah, inshallah. Inshallah, I pray that you're able to go for Umrah. Question, Kothar. What do you think would be our number one favorite place to travel someday? Um, since I was a baby when, uh, when we went to the Earth. Which is okay, oh, Toronto would be nice. Yeah, because I, I only been there when I was a baby, and I really want to go there again. Okay, I think our friends from Toronto are probably happy to hear you say that. <laughs> um, I think Toronto would be nice. The weather's kind of similar to Minnesota, okay, a little bit snowy. I was hoping you would say a place like Thailand. Okay, Thailand's kind of nice. I'd like to go there. There's a lot of beaches, and it's warm, and, um, you know, we can relax. It's been kind of a little bit of a busy Ramadan, a hectic Ramadan for the family. There's Ramadan in Thailand too. That's a good point. That's a very good point. So, you know, nothing gets past you go through more. All right. So it uh, looks like most people got that right. Our soul. So our soul is in us. We, Gauthar, are not our body. We are our soul. Okay. And so when we do things that are inappropriate, that we know are not appropriate, like if we scratch or if we like do something that's bad, it, it makes us so dirty. And we talked about this like I think like yesterday. We or... talked about it on Monday. Yeah, on Monday. Okay, but the next question it's... might be related. So don't say the answer. So just hold on. But yeah, so our soul can Yeah, Gossam, you're right. On Monday. So we've got Himmy and number one, white tiger, number two, one point summer. One point separates one from five. This is incredible. Question number two of 12. How can we clean our soul? Is it with bleach? Is it with Lysol? Is it with showers? Or is it with vicar? All right. Don't say the answer. Go through Noor. Do not say the answer. Okay. All right. Uh, from Mariam Mo'in says, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. What is your favorite place to go? Well, my favorite place to go right now is the Nora Kids Treehouse and actually home, home. Okay, hold on, hold on. I like coming home. Oh, what were you gonna say, Gossip? It's a nice person there, I know that, okay. Have I gone for Hajj or been to Mecca? Yes, my wife and I went for Hajj in 2016, right when we graduated from our university. Alhamdulillah, we went to Berkeley. It was really special. And then it was before you were born. We went for Hajj. We haven't gone for Umrah in a while. I pray that Allah gives us the opportunity to go for Umrah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's see what the next question here is. Aisha Farooq says, me and my kids watch the Ramadan camp like every day. And it's so much fun. Thank you for putting on so much effort. Alhamdulillah. It means a lot. Keep us in your du'as. My question for you is, oh, wow, there's a lot of questions. <laughs> Um, I'm going to do this one, okay? Um, what is my favorite Nora Kids book? Mine is The Power of Prayer. When my mom was very sick, I wrote that book, and that one make, means a lot to me. And then you ask, who's the first person I want to see when I go to Jannah? First person I want to see, inshallah, is my mom. You've never met her before, but she would love you if she met you in real life, and um, she would be my favorite person to meet first. I'll give her a big hug. Okay. Inshallah, if we get that opportunity. Muslim Ninja, now number one. Zainab A, number two. Amin G. I'm Amin G. Lilian and Sophia. Okay, this is pretty exciting. Let's see what happens next. Yes. All right. On Monday, Brother Amin told a story about a special food that went mysteriously bad. What food was it? Was it samosas? 
Was it halim? Don't say any answers. Was it lasagna or was it biryani? Both of you know? Yeah. Is it tough to not say the answer? Yeah. Do you want to participate in the Kahoot too, probably? Probably. Okay. Yuki says, hello, Mr. Amin. I am Ishal from Ontario, Canada. I have a question. When did you get inspiration for this camp? It's truly outstanding. It's helped me get closer to Allah than I thought. Well, here's the thing. Kothar Noor um, and Qasim, let me tell you something. Ramadan this month is the most important time of the year, not just for Muslims, but the entire world. This is the month of mercy. <laughs> it is the month when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, just like rain falls, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses. Now, many of us, honestly, living in America and in Canada, we get excited about like, oh, it's Thanksgiving or oh, it's, you know, different, different, different holidays. But as Muslims, this is our month. And so the reason why we put on the, the camp, the Ramadan camp, is to help make this month, inshallah, memorable. But also number two, when I was a kid learning about Islam, sometimes wasn't always actually all that much fun. Sometimes I didn't feel excited, and even the way I was taught. And so we thought during this month of Ramadan, we can help kids build a love for Islam. Now, Gopher, when oh. Ramadan ends, will you be sad that the camp is over? Um, the answer is yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the programs are fun, right? The good news is, is that we are going to be launching something on Thursday this week where even after the month of Ramadan, people will be able to, inshallah, join. Not every day, but it'll be twice a week. And the reason why it's twice a week is that way kids from places like the UK and Australia and Singapore and stuff like that, who can't come on a normal time for us, are able to join. So, okay, cool. Anyways, let's go back to this. Halim, it was Halim. My wife had made Halim and somebody pulled out the plug that was me when I was a baby. Yep, and the Halim went bad. And that was a very important thing for us because it helped us teach a very important lesson. And that lesson is actually going to be the next question. All right, Zainab A, mashallah, very good. True or false? Is it possible for something to come from nothing? Okay, is it possible for something to come from nothing? This is actually a pretty important question. Because you know, go through, there's some people in the world who don't understand that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our Lord, created everything. You know, they think that like, oh, maybe this whole world that's around us is just, oh, it just kind of happened. But for us, what we believe is, look, if there's smoke, that means that there's fire. It is not possible for something to come from nothing. nothing right just like it's not possible for like the the plug to just come off but it's not possible somebody has to do it right similarly this whole world that we live in it's not possible for it all to have just happened it had to start from a specific place or moment so on and so forth okay I think everyone has answered, so we'll actually go here. The answer is false. It is not possible for something to come from nothing. So um, it is not possible, right? So uh, I'm surprised that so many people got it wrong. Maybe you guys got the understanding of it wrong. Like our world, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala started it. Okay. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source. Okay. So it has to start from a place, and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the same way that fire cannot, or smoke cannot come without a fire, in the same way that the halim cannot be, you know, the plug can just come out by itself, it's not possible for something to come from nothing. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the source. We talked about that on Monday. Allah is al-khaliq, Allah is our creator. It's a very important lesson. All right, looks like most people got that right. Lilian's still in number one. Very good. Question number five of 12. In the book, Mercy to Mankind, what did Amin make for his mom? 
All right, let's go back to the questions here, see what kind of questions we got here for us. Um, Mr. Amin, my question is, how do you make up these stories? Like what gives you the idea and what gives you the, uh, and what gives you how to write? So great question, Amina Khanzada. Um, what I'll tell you about writing is three things. First is the more that you read, the better you get at writing. The second is every one of the stories that we write comes from a real place in my life. Most of the times when we're telling a story, I actually think about when I first learned that lesson in my actual life. And most of the times when we start our NeuroKids programs, I'll actually tell you a personal story. You guys, those stories are real. Those are not fake. Those stories are actually real. Those are things that happen in my life. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because like everything that we're learning here, it's not like learning for the sake of like, oh, okay, cool, nice information. No, this is information that we want to use to change our lives. And so um, that's how I write the stories. Great question. All right, let's go to Kahoot. Uh, it looks like almost everyone has answered that question. So we will uh, go on pancakes. Amin was making pancakes. Now, did the pancakes turn out well, Kothar? Yeah. No, they didn't. What happened to the pancakes? They, um, they burned because I mean, didn't like eat it well or like keep like he yeah. didn't know what to do. He didn't know what to do. Very good. All right, sisters forever now number one. Lilian number two. Anwar G is now on the board. Fatma from North Carolina in number four. Faliha from North Carolina number three. Okay. In what way is Prophet Muhammad peace and blessings be on him a blessing for us? He's someone our parents talk about. He is like a guide. He tells us rules. He is like a recipe book. Now, here's the thing, you guys. In class, we said that there is something that is a recipe book and there is something that is like a guide, okay? Now, Kothar, do you feel like you want to say something? Um, you probably know what the recipe book is. Okay, but anyways, uh, let's let's continue. Great questions. All right, assalamu alaikum. This is Ibrahim and Khadija from New York. Our question is, why do you spin the wheel if you already have the topic of the bug baked top? <laughs> and this is when will we meet Qasim, right? So you're meeting Qasim today, Qasim. Can you say hi, everybody? Qasim, say hi, everybody. Salam. Hey. <laughs> You drama boy. <laughs> he does this thing sometimes when he's angry. He's put like this. Gossip. Gossip. Mm. <laughs> All right. So why do I do that? Well, the reason why I do it is kind of funny. You funny people. <laughs> That's what Gossip does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So the, uh, the reason why I do it, the reason why I spin the wheel, Gossip, the reason why I spin the wheel, uh, the reason why I spin the wheels is because a lot of people don't know that we have this curriculum, okay, and that some of our books are yellow and some of them are blue and some of them are green. So the reason why I spin the wheel is because I just want everyone to know that like New York Kids, it's a character building program. And every month, families get a new book delivered to their home and it's based on these topics. Sometimes people might think, oh, you know, they just create books and like, oh, it's just any topic. No, it's not any old topic. All the topics are actually very purposeful. And we do a lot of thinking and research. Actually, there's about 30 or 40 pages of research that we do before we create every single one of our books. Um, and so there's a lot of thoughtfulness that goes into it. Um, okay, we're gonna go back to uh, the Kahoot here. He is like a guide. Yes, very good. So the Quran is like a recipe book. And uh, our Holy Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be on him, is like our guide. All right, very good. We are on question seven of 12, only a couple left. What did Brother Amin get as a gift after he donated as a child? Did he get diamond earrings? Did he get a Lego set? Did he get a college savings plan? Did he get a super stoker? And there's a question from a mom here. Can you please bring back the dua at the end of each program? It was a beautiful way to end. Uh, you know what? That's a good, that's a good idea. Go through. We do that at home sometimes, right? 
After we pray salah, we'll yeah. do dua. Yeah. Remember like that first night of Ramadan? Like, I mean, remember the old Christmas um, day? We did, um, after we prayed, we did dua. That's right. That's right. And so, and we did that as a group. Inshallah, I think that's something we can do. I like that. That's a great suggestion. We're going to do it. All right. Uh, from Shiruddin. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. I hope you're doing well, brother Amin, by Allah's grace. Alhamdulillah. We're in Ontario, Canada. My son is Muhammad. His question is, where do you get ideas to make all kinds of videos? Um, it's not easy. Um, basically, we have a team. Uh, we also have someone in Jake who recently joined the team. He helped us build our um, treehouse. And there was also a man named Reda who came from Detroit. Um, and he's part of an organization called Talk to Muslims. He flew out one week before Ramadan because we were worried about our technology and he helped us with everything, alhamdulillah. But, you know, we, you know, we try to be creative about it. Sometimes, often, I will not have an idea. And so I will make dua and I would say, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, allow my lips to be lips through which you talk. Allow my mouth to be a mouth through which you work. Allow my arms to be arms through which you do good. Ya Allah, allow me to be a vessel. Allow me to be like a source of good. And I say, Ya Allah, I don't know what we should be. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I have a roadblock here. I, I can't think about something. Ya Allah, please. Give me an idea. And sometimes I'll say, Allah, Ya Allah, in the same way you take a baby and put it inside the cradle, Ya Allah, please take the idea and put it into my mind. So that way I can come up with an idea because it's not easy actually all the time. Very good, diamond earrings. Yes, so this was a very important story. Kofi, do you remember it? How did the story go? It was, um, um, you, um, at the masjid, you, um, the sheikh did his dissertation for like yes. about what he wants to do, and then at the end he was like, he called out your name, Amin Asir, and then you slowly walked up to the top, and then and what did he give me? Um, he gave you diamond earrings because, and he said, and he holded up your hand, and he and he said, um, um. This little boy um, donated. Yeah, donated. Wow, very good, baby. Can we give Qatar a round of applause? Round of applause for Qatar. MashaAllah. Very good. So, uh, so basically, what happened is, is yeah, like the he, the Sheikh wanted to show that when you give, Allah gives you more. And this is something that is true in all of our lives. If each one of you ask your mom or dad or your aunt or uncle or grandma or grandpa, whoever your parent or guardian is. This is a promise of Allah. When we give for the sake of Allah, Allah always gives us more. And this is a very important thing for us to remember during the month of Ramadan because go through Noor, even our toys sometimes, right? Sometimes we have to give it away. Yeah. In Surah An-Nur, okay, what is one of the lights that lives within us? This is from today's program. Go through. You were sleeping. I was doing the program. So you don't know the answer to this, okay? But we had a sheikh who joined us from across the pond in the United Kingdom. Oh, yeah. I, I, I saw it. You saw it today? No, I don't think you did. Yeah, I did. Okay, so anyways, he said in Surah Noor, there is a discussion about a light, okay? And he talked about one of these lights lives within us, okay? So let's go back to the questions, see what other questions we've got here. Uh, Nabiha says, Brother Amin, these books you wrote are amazing. My question is, how do you choose someone to ask questions in the Zoom call? It must be hard with all the beautiful paces. And please pray for me. I have the flu and I'm trying to get over it. Also, another question. How old were you when you started fasting? Full days and half days. Your videos are inspirational. Okay, so yes, it is impossible for me to pick. What I try to do is I try to pick a new person each time. So I try to think, oh, have I called on this person? Okay, so that's something I do. Number two is I try to find Muslims of all different shapes, colors, and sizes. And the reason why I do that is because when I was a kid growing up in Minnesota, um, I thought that like the only Muslims were the people that I saw. But what I've learned, especially as I've traveled and Kothar, you've been able to travel with me sometimes in different places. There's a lot of different, um, uh, there's a lot of like Muslims from a lot of different places. And one of the coolest things about being Muslim 
is that we have Muslims in Japan and in India and Pakistan and Sri Lanka and in Qatar and in Singapore and in Nigeria and in Turkey and in Austria and even Wisconsin. Even Wisconsin, you know? So I try to, that's what I try to do, okay? And that's how I try to find it. And I try to go boy, girl, boy, girl, boy, girl. So that's how I do it. I pray that inshallah, your flu gets better. I did my my half day fast maybe when I was like seven six or seven and then I did full day fast I think when I was maybe nine okay all right let's see what we have here our heart very good excellent so you knew that you did okay all right very good oh you did watch it okay very good so what sheikh uh, Salim told us, is he says, you know, like at the front of a masjid, there's a mihrab, yeah. okay? It's like circular. And he says, our, our rib cage is kind of like a mihrab, and inside of it is our heart, and that is a light. But here's the thing. Sometimes that light, that light is from Allah, so in each of us, in you, in me, in each one of us, there's something special. Sometimes that light, there's gunk on it. And so we can't see it completely because our soul has gotten dirty, okay? And so we can try to wash it off by doing vicar and things like that. Or like um, praying. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, very good, very good. All right, question nine of 12. According to Sheikh Salim, what can our heart connect to to turn brighter? So he says, if our heart connects to one thing, it will make it even brighter, Okay. Is it the prophet, peace and blessings be on him? Is it the masjid? Is it our parents? Is it the Quran? Now, look, this is what Sheikh Salim said today. Okay, so this is what he specifically talked about. Um, and so I, I hope you guys get it right. Sister Batul Nakfi, two questions. What is your biggest fear? Do you have any pets? Oh, wow. Um, if not, is there an animal that you wish you had as a pet? What is your favorite part about working on newer kids? What is... Go through his favorite nor kids character. Okay, my biggest fear is I have two big fears. Um, one fear is a big fear. One is a small fear. My big fear is go there when we go and we pass away and we go to the day of judgment and Allah Subhanahu wa Taala like tells us whether we go to heaven or whether we don't. And we get to base off of the good deeds. If we do good deeds in this world, then inshallah, we'll go to heaven. But if we do a lot of bad stuff, if we treat people bad, stuff like that, then those are bad deeds. And they're put on a scale. My biggest fear is on that day, if the scale is not one where I get, you know, where it's, um, where it says, hey, I mean, you don't get to go to heaven. That's my biggest fear. But the good news is, is that one of the reasons why I do Nora K is one of the reasons why we do this is so that way the good deeds can be more, right? And we have time, especially in the month of Ramadan, to ask for forgiveness so that way if there's anything bad that we've done and try to purify ourselves. So that's kind of my bigger fear. My smaller fear is I really love the work that we do with Nora Kids so much. Sometimes I worry, like, can we do this forever? Um, because it takes a lot of work. And um, it's not easy to do. And, um, and the truth is we also need support. And so sometimes I get a little bit scared about that. Those are the two things that I, that, that are fear. What do you think? Do you think those are reasonable? Yes. Those are reasonable. Okay. Um, question number two is, do I have any pets? Nope. I just have a daughter and a son. <laughs> you guys don't have pets. You guys are children. Okay. And then hold on. Um, and then it looks like, um, what is your favorite part about newer kids working on it? My favorite part is that um, I get to, I like to travel. I like to go to communities and I like to you travel to a mic, then you get sick. Then I get sick. Yeah. And then I get tired. Good to like Just travel a little bit, a mask and also not travel too much. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I like meeting people. I love, I love, I love kids. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. Like that's my special part. And then, Go through. Well, who's your favorite North Kids character? Um, I think it's Amira. Amira, that's a good one. Okay, cool. All right, so answer here the Quran. Very good. Almost all of you guys got that right. So he says, look, kind of like when a 
when a light plugs into a socket and it turns on, when our heart connects with the Quran, like something special happens. All right, very good. We're almost done. We almost have a, you know, the winners here. Okay. Jia and Hafsa, now number three, Sisters Forever, number one. Wow, this is pretty exciting. All right, question 10 of 12. In Surah Ibrahim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you are grateful, I will certainly give you more. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wah, wah, wah. Kothi, are you having a good Ramadan or a super califragilistic expialidociously awesome Ramadan? <laughs> no, you have to say it. Can you say it? Can you say it? No, you don't want to say it? Okay. Okay, do it. Super califragilistic expialidociously awesome. Masha Allah. Good job, okay? All right, how many Noor Kids books have you made and uh, from March, 2023? Um, so we've made 150 stories so far. 150 stories so far, mashallah. Mimi Monk. Assalamu alaikum, brother Mean. We are in the most super califragilistic expelidociously country, AKA Minnesota, very good. Thank you for providing this amazing program. Me and my kitten love watching your program. Even after the live program, we spend hours watching old videos. Alhamdulillah. And you've been on since 2020. My name is Mamu in Minnesota. Do I have any pets? Have I had any? I don't have any pets. I used to have fish. My fish passed away. It was sad. Um, actually, we got it as an Eid gift. I think it was last Ramadan or the Ramadan before. One year ago or something. Yeah, like well, they took a lot of work and then they passed away. Um, pets. Um, and when those passed away, um, I was really sad because I really like pets. Yeah, but we also like having a clean house. So yeah, yeah. so. Yeah, but don't you speak the <laughs> I know, I know. Okay, all right. I mean, you know how to they don't make the house dirty. Though. Okay, so Bill went up a little bit. All right, we only have two questions left. All right, question 11 of 12. What time is our programs on Saturdays and Sundays? 12 p.m. Central and 5 p.m. Central, 11 a.m. Central, 12 p.m. Central, or 11 a.m. Central and 5.30 Central? We did this today. We're doing it tomorrow. We do this every weekend. And the reason why we do it every weekend is because we want to make sure that families who are not in the U.S. and Canada who can't join on the weekends you're able to join at a really good time and it's like ideal for you. Um, so that is the whole point. And that's why I want to make sure that you guys are able to come. Um, Hafsa from Alberta said, hey, what was my mo main motivation when we first started Nora Kids? Go through Nora. When I was a kid, I was one of very few Muslim kids. And learning about Islam, about Islam was not that fun. Sometimes, I didn't feel like I myself loved Allah or loved Islam. I felt like I just did it because my mom and dad did it. Now, 10 years ago, when your api, Asya, was born, my niece, we said, hey, I want to make sure that her and girls and boys, just like her, grow up feeling proud to like actually love Allah, to love Islam. Okay, and hold on, let me finish. Yeah, um, to, 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 to love Allah and to love Islam. And um, that's why we created Nora Kids. And now when Muslim kids from all across the world, like Gother, when you see all of these kids, it makes us feel like, are we alone? We're not alone. We're part of one of the most beautiful communities in the whole world. In fact, we are lucky to be Muslim. That's the main motivation behind Nora Kids. What do you think, Gother? Do you like it? Alhamdulillah. And do you feel like it's working? Do you love Allah? Alhamdulillah. I love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala too. Yes, 11 a.m. and 5.30 Central. Now, I do want to share one thing here. This week, we're going to be making an announcement. We're going to be sharing something that's pretty cool. Um, and even after the month of Ramadan, inshallah, we're going to be doing uh, programs, classes uh, for kids. Um, and we're going to be doing it twice a week, two different times. So that way, families, even outside of the U.S. and Canada, are able to join. Hopefully, you guys will all be able to benefit and join. Um, to take advantage of it. 
All right, this is the last question. I don't even know if it's a real question, actually. Um, last question, question 12 of 12, multiple select. What can you get if you contribute to the Noor Kids Ramadan Fund at noorkids.com slash donate? Can you get t-shirts? Can you get appreciation? Can you get a backpack? Can you get good deeds? You can select multiple things here. All right, there's a question here, Cozy Crossing. When is it happening on Netflix show? Are you guys going to do it? So we are working on an animated series. Inshallah, it will get done this year. It has taken us more time than we expected. And one of the reasons why is because we're doing a really, really good job with it. Inshallah, I think you guys are all going to love it um, a ton. Um, but, um, uh, but inshallah, it will be this year. And so it should be a lot of fun. I do want to just check where we are with respect to this fundraiser, norakids.com slash donate. We are at approximately, oops. Well, it's taking some time to load. There we go, $16,500. Alhamdulillah, that's pretty good. Our goal is to raise $75,000. Um, and during this month of Ramadan, it is a very good month. Um, if your parents and if you guys are enjoying our programming and benefiting, Please do consider contributing. All of this is possible because of support from people like you. So please do take a, you know, uh, take a look. Yes, the answer is all of them. You can get all of them. All right. So our winners, Kothi, are you ready for the winners? No, you're not ready for the. Are you ready for the winner? Yes. Okay. All right. So before we show the winners, I have a couple of just quick announcements. Announcement number one. Tomorrow we have two programs, again, 11 o'clock in the morning and then 5.30 in the evening, okay? So that means all of you guys who are not in the US and Canada, I wanna see all of you guys join because we're doing it for you. It's not easy for me to do two programs in one day, but I'm doing it because I want you to benefit. Tomorrow, we're not doing Quran gems, we're gonna do a proper story time. So that way I hope you guys are gonna be able to benefit. Hopefully it'll be awesome, it'll be fun. Tomorrow night, we have a special program, Happily Ever Hereafter. We're going to be learning about the hereafter. We're also going to be joined by Moses the Comet. This week, alhamdulillah, um, we have a bunch of things going on. Sheikh Umar Suleiman is going to be joining us on Thursday. We're going to be launching our, our um, a bunch of like opportunities for people to join our kids this week. It should be fun. Um, and, um, and I think that's it. Should we show the winners? All right, let me show the winners. Okay, before I show the winner, no, I'm kidding, all right, let's do it. Hold on, before I show the, okay, all right, hold on, all right, let's just do it. Let's do it, let's find the winners. These winners are gonna be added to the Nor Kids Ring of Honor. Uh, they are going to get special gifts and special prizes. Um, and what you have to do is you have to email us. Once you do, uh, you'll submit a little form and uh, inshallah, we'll get your information sent to you, okay? All right, winners of week number two, Ramadan challenge, Onward G. Onward G. Number two, Foon, the cool cat. And number one, the winner and champion, this moose called Fifth Ever. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. All right, you guys, send us an email. Let's get your gifts going. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you guys had a great time. We will see you tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Kodi, you want to say salams? Goodbye, everyone. Qasim here, Qasim, you want to say salams? All right, we'll say. Qasim, Qasim, say goodbye. Say bye-bye. <laughs> All right, tell me everyone.